The Super Mario movie line of toys has officially been released for a little while now, and the movie is out, so I'm going to take a look at each of the figures in a very casual overview, like I've done with the previous LEGO Super Mario sets. My name is Brian Saviano Brick, so Brian, I have the entire collection here, Mario, Luigi, Peach, Toad, and Bowser, but let me get into what each of these figures are and uh, if they're worth it. So they've only released one line of these action figures that actually appear in these black boxes. And I'm only going to show you the one for Mario because they all look identical, basically, other than it's saying Mario on the side and then a little bit of uh, iconography all around the actual uh, characters themselves. So uh, these are available at your local retailer, online, wherever, for about $20 each, and that matters for a lot of these more so than the other ones. So uh, Bowser, as you can probably see back here, at least a little bit, he's actually more expensive at $30, but as I have understood, these actually go on sale fairly frequently if you're looking to pick them up on a little bit of a discount. So each of these measure a little bit differently. Mario is about, as you can clearly see right here, he's what, four and a half inches tall? So Mario is the standard figure, obviously, of the bunch. He has his uh, plumber. And I'm not really an action figure guy. So when I see details like the very tip top of the hat right there with the stitching embodying what the top of the hat is, that, that's, pretty, that's pretty snazzy, man. Trying to get this to focus up here on my Google Pixel. I love the facial details, the articulation of each of these figures. It's actually quite incredible how articulate they are. I'm used to just dealing with Lego that are only opposable in certain ways, but the way that the feet move from left to right ever so slightly, the knee, the waist joints, every aspect of this figure is really nicely detailed, and it's got a lot going on for the value. Um, there's slightly gold brushed uh, paint on the buttons there, and then he does come with the plum, uh, the plum accessory, the... Uh, <laughs> The uh, plunger accessory, yes, and if you see the movie, which I actually have already seen the movie quite a few times now, uh, you'll notice that, yes, they do have these accessories uh, all throughout the movie, so this is pretty accurate to what the movie is based on. Mario obviously has his bottom, he has the hair, He's, it's a Mario, it's Mario, but it's movie Mario, it's got a little bit more of that flair, and I mean, if you're going to get any of these, right, you're going to get more movie Mario, like there's no way you're not getting movie Mario out of the whole, the whole lineup of figures here. And then second up is Luigi. Now, compared to Mario, obviously Luigi is a little bit taller. You can see Luigi stands about five inches tall by comparison to Mario. He has a flashlight accessory that you see here and the same exact articulation as Mario. I think what's messing up the focus here is Toad. is just staring into, <laughs> staring into the camera and he's like, Ugh. that's what's messing it all up. But anyways, Luigi, yeah, same detailing, especially on the hat right there. Really cool stuff. Love that you also see the stitching on the L where um, the iconography is there. That's pretty cool. The eyes are like this glassy plastic. So you're seeing it's like rounded ever so slightly to give that illusion of it being an eye. That's pretty cool. And then, yeah, he has the uh, the flashlight. So, yeah, same articulation. I, I feel like the articulation comes through a little bit better on Luigi, mostly because he's taller. So there's more room to kind of move stuff around, especially with him. But, uh, you know, if you're going to get Mario, the next logical one to get is Luigi. So there's no Yoshi as part of this wave or this series at all. So Luigi is the next choice. So Mario and Luigi are pretty decent values for uh, $20 each. I mean, I like Luigi a little bit more because he's a little bit taller. Obviously, Mario's a little bit chunkier, but Luigi being taller feels like more of a value, especially when you have them both on your shelf side by side. Luigi takes up ever so slightly more space. So that's where that kind of factors in. Here's the deal with Peach. Peach is very cool, and especially the hair molding here. So this rubbery material here. Now, again, I'm not an action figure guy, right? So I don't know all the different lingo terms for everything. But this rubber here for Peach's hair is different from the plastic that's over here or on her torso or anywhere else. So Peach has a bit more uh, flexibility, at least with the hair. And I love the detailing on the crown with the gold and the red and blue gems in the top. Very, very cool. The, the, th the deal with Peach, all right? The thing with Peach is that you see her address. Obviously, you can see uh, the feet on the bottom there, a little bit of serial number information, all this stuff, right? Um, Peach, as everyone topples over, um, I don't know if you can hear that, but she's hollow. 
The dress is hollow, so you're not going to get any weight out of the bottom portion of this dress here. So, you know, obviously, if you try to poke her over, you know, she's going to stay up to an extent. But then, yeah, she's meant to just stand around and like this. There's no articulation anywhere in the lower half of her body. Her head does move ever so slightly, ever so slightly. But even then, not all that much. Her hands are very petite, obviously. And then, yeah, she has her umbrella, which is a great accessory, especially for her. But the detailing is especially in the hair, as you can see here. Look at all the, the different strands of hair. Pretty cool. And then, yeah, the crown. So Peach's face mold is pretty cool. I mean, all the, all the molding on these figures is great. But yeah, that's where Peach kind of falls short ever so slightly because she doesn't have any articulation in the lower half. But that's fine. Last up for the regular size figures is Toad. And Toad is still $20 retail price at all the major outlets. And this is where it kind of... I, Toad is very dense like Mario, but obviously he's much shorter than Mario. So when you look at these two side by side, $20 for each, a lot of you might say, well, bit of a, bit of a, I don't know, for Mario. But then for Toad, yeah, it's especially not as great of a value when you're looking at them side by side. But Toad has wonderful backpack detailing. All the different accessories very clearly alluding to Captain Toad being here and being the, the next iteration of this character specifically. Uh, he's holding a frying pan, which happens to uh, the only character, by the way, that the accessory can actually go into the backpack here. If I can get the camera. Yeah, there we go. So the frying pan pops right into the backpack there, pops right out and goes into his hands. Uh, no problem at all. So that's pretty snazzy. Um, Toad has similar articulation in the hands, but then his head moves around a little bit. This top portion, the, the hat slash head, uh, this is hollow, but then the feet actually as the frying pan falls, unfortunately. So the feet here, the whole, um, lower section of his leg actually moves in one go. So when you're moving this up, you can see that, yes, it is the entire singular plastic part moving. The feet do wiggle left to right ever so slightly, but yeah, it's not, it's not like, it's better articulation than Peach, but nowhere near as good as Mario and Luigi. So like, if you're going for the full set, this is the one I feel like you'd probably wait till there's like a $5 off, $6 off sale for Toad, just because he's a little bit smaller, the value is less there, right? And especially when you're comparing Todd here to the next and final character in the lineup, it's Bowser. I think I got to you know, I'm going to change up the camera angle here right on the fly. We're doing this. We're doing it live. We're doing it live here. Hold on. Nope. Go up, Bowser. He's so mighty and powerful that I have to ascend the camera so you see my keyboard in the background. There. Hey, 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 listen, Toad, don't go anywhere. We got to compare you to Bowser, all right? So Bowser, by comparison of the other characters, is actually $30 at retail. Now, obviously, you can, like I said, find these on sale at some point or another. The rubber material here, his entire face, um, his hands, his tail, as you all see it here, that is what I believe to be the same material as Peach's hair. So it's ever so slightly rubbery. So that way the, the spikes on Bowser's shell, the tops of the eyebrows and the hair, those are not going to like poke out a sibling's eye, right? Articulation is great in the forearms and the hands, legs, every aspect. These are also that same uh, hard rubbery plastic there. And then I love the facial detailing, especially when it gets to the scales you can see on Bowser's uh, actual skin there. That's pretty uh, nicely done. And the green fade for his, uh, his skin toward the back here. The main thing with Bowser is that he's the only character that has a play functionality other than just the articulation, right? So it's all in the power of the shell. So this shell actually pops all right off. Bam, it's all one big giant thing. You can see the inside right there. Actually move this around pretty nicely there. But Bowser does require, I believe it's three or four AAA batteries. And when you turn him uh, off or uh, uh, on, you can see that he actually breathes fire, uh, breathe, breathing fire, meaning there's uh, a little bit of water that's actually located in the very top of his head. So once you pop that open, you can see there's a little spigot to put some water with the dropper that is included, but I don't know where it is. You put that in there. And then by pressing this specific spike, on his shell, that's all, always attached to the very back here, you can see that not only it lights up, but it also spouts out the water vapor. If it'll go, it's been a minute since I've turned this on here. It's looking like it's not going to do it, but I promise you it works. 
I promise you it works. It all spouts out. Nope, Bowser's just like, he, he, he needs to get a, a fiery recharge here, but the point still stands that he does breathe fire. So Bowser being $30, as I try to get one big shot of him here. Yeah, there we go. A little, a little bit of a size comparison here. When you compare him to Toad, look at that. It's night and day. So you're telling me for like $10 more, you can get a substantially bigger figure for, for that? It, it's crazy. I mean, obviously, right? When you have all these here, you're going to go for Mario and maybe Bowser. Maybe those are the only two you're going to get. But if you get these three, you can really see the size difference comparison here as you're also seeing the... Uh, the question mark block 10 from the movie. That's just also for size comparison as well. And now that I have all of them lined up, you can see that, you know, obviously everybody stands on their own quite nicely, but Toad, because that backpack is so heavy, you have to pose him in a very specific position. Otherwise, you know, you do this and then he ends up dropping, <laughs> he ends up dropping a little bit there. So that's unfortunately what Toad has to deal with. But all these figures are really cool. Like this lineup of figures here is really sweet. But when you realize it's like $115, you're like, oh, that's a lot of money. Now, these have already gone on sale a little bit at Target and everywhere else where you're saving like six bucks each. So if you can get these for like 15 each, that's a pretty solid lineup of Mario movie figures. And like I said before, the detailing on each of these is awesome. And if you're only getting Mario movie stuff, then it's not like a lengthy collection to go after. These are all the main characters of the movie. They're obviously very important to the plot. There are no side characters, no, no nothing like that. So these are obviously the characters you're going to want to get. And as somebody who's seen the movie, yeah, they, they're all accurate and worthwhile to get as part of the collection. And could they add more characters to the lineup? I mean, they could. They're probably not going to. This is really the main, this is the main cast here. So... If you are not, it's perfect for someone like me. I'm not a big action figure person, right? But I see all these here. I think they look pretty cool. I got them on day one because I wanted to do videos on them and showcase them to all of you. If you can get the, each of these on sale, then I think you'd be really like a lot better off. You get Bowser for 25, Mario and each of the rest of the characters for 15. That's a pretty, pretty fair price in my opinion. So, and I think these are incredibly worthwhile. So pick them up at your local retailer. Hope you enjoyed this video. My phone keeps overheating because of all the hotness it's displayed on screen here. Go check out the Super Mario movie for yourself. Obviously, I loved it, and I'm sure that you'll love it too. Pick up these figures at your local retailers or online. I'll see you again for more Super Mario movie stuff or whatever in the near future before my phone overheats once again. I'm Bricks O'Brien. I'll see you next time. Bye.